scorpion. All right, we just found our first scorpion. And it is not a bark scorpion. This video makes it like look like blue light. It's like has barely any purple light on it in real life. And that guy is probably the size of my whole palm. He is the biggest scorpion I personally have seen in the wild. And he's just hiding out down there. It's the first scorpion I've seen in my whole entire life. Oh, that is cool. Guys, what do you think? Awesome. I love awesome. it. Awesome, Dad. Should we oh, scroll? Scroll. That should we oh, keep. This is epic. How, guys, which one? That, that is so cool. This one should we keep. Yeah, that's epic. Okay, guys. It's just so epic. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Just a second. I want to get oh, one my more shot. Oh, looks sweet. That is yeah. so stinking legit. Look at the hair on this guy. Even on his arms. That's amazing. This is the giant desert hairy scorpion. Pretty good size one. First time I've ever handled one. I just picked them up with a letter and let them. He's having a hard time staying on the letter, so I actually put my hand there for him to grab so he could climb up on, and that seemed to work out really well. Giant desert hairy scorpions are really cute to me. They seem pretty iconic for a scorpion. I think the California Swan Stinger sisters that I have um, from Eagle Mountain. I think now I technically think those are cooler, but these guys are still just so epic and they have really thick tails and I love all that hair. Look at that, that's just crazy. All the hair on the arms too. Super cool. Beautiful arachnids. Definitely a lot cuter forward facing too than the California Swollen Stingers. Okay, and this giant desert hairy, a lot easier to grab, a lot not um, as reactive and nervous as the California Swollen Stingers. So I think I might actually try to grab this guy by his tail. This will be the first time I've ever done that without using forceps or some down underneath to slide them off. So, let's see how this gets. Definitely nervous, for sure. Use my left hand. Yes. Love that he's so docile. Okay, now I'm just get the guts to. I'm touching his hairs and touching his actual tail. He's okay, and I just need to squeeze it a little bit and pick him up. I don't want to squeeze too hard out of being nervous, because I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to squeeze too light, so I don't get stung. So, <laughs> a little bit of a balance here. Ooh. Okay, I think I got a feel for it. Come here. It's down here, Mike. My heart is definitely pumping. <laughs> it's just this thing. It'll be okay. I don't want to get stung though. Just not on my wish list. There we go. Okay, all right. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. He's definitely, was definitely whipping that around. And you can see he swung all the way back to grab onto me. That was creepy, but that's cool. I did it. That's exciting. Now let's put him back um, in the sand where I wanted to. I'll just hang him. Oh wow, you're gripping so strong, dude. Let go of me, please. I'm on the sand. You're not gonna let go of your tail until you let go of my finger. Is that a fair deal? Yeah? So, I want you to let go. 
I'm not gonna negotiate. I don't trust you. Just as much as you don't trust me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Seriously? Obviously I'm not hurting you. Can you just like go in there? You're gripping so strong. It feels really cool, but Okay, let's get you off. There you go, there you go. One, two, three. Perfect. Nice job. Nicely done. I think we're an okay team. That was cool. Well, I guess one test of confidence is would I lay down with a giant desert and hairy scorpion? And yes, I would. Especially um, the bigger ones. So they're more docile, they really just feel like um, big butt bugs to me. But, yeah, it's nice and easy. Super, super easy to, easy to take care of. Um, nice to play with and handle. And all around just really, really cool, cool scorpions. I wish he'd walk around more. I mean, it's time for him, well, basically time for him to be up and up and at him for the day. It's 10 p.m., 10.10, 10. but I disrupted the Tim about an hour ago, uh, giving them a new home. Well, he is being really boring, so I'm gonna go put him back, and I know, guys. I'm gonna put him back and get the other scorpions, the California Swollen Singers from Eagle Mountain while well, the sisters of the California Swollen Singers um, into their new terrarium and put him in his new terrarium and let him get ready to start making his new home with his new new burrow. Casey's moving around a, a little bit now. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, they're just like big bugs. Or spiders, if you like spiders. They are arachnids. Um, they just have these variations um, that there's so much in common with spiders, but obviously the obvious differences, but there are their behavior though, and how they handle is actually feels pretty similar to me. Huh. Yeah. Okay, let's get you in your home.